This is Dr. Duff Sprawls at Space Coast Cancer Centers. I'm here to talk to you about hair loss during cancer treatment. You might not think about how important your hair is until you face losing it. If you have cancer and are about to undergo chemotherapy, the chance of hair loss is very real. Both men and women report hair loss as one of the most feared side effects of chemotherapy. Whether or not you have hair loss from your chemotherapy depends mostly on the type and dose of medication you will receive. But whether you can maintain a healthy body image after hair loss depends a lot on your attitude and the support of your family and friends. Chemotherapy and hair loss, why does it occur? Chemotherapy drugs are powerful medications that attack rapidly growing cancer cells. Unfortunately, these drugs also attack other rapidly growing cells in your body, including those in your hair roots. Chemotherapy may cause hair loss all over your body, not just your scalp, but sometimes your eyelashes, eyebrows, armpits, and pubic and other body hair may also fall out. Some chemotherapy drugs are more likely than others to cause hair loss, and different doses can cause anything from mere thinning to complete baldness. Talk to your doctor or nurse about the medication you'll be taking. Your doctor or nurse can explain to you what to expect. Fortunately, most of the time, hair loss from chemotherapy is temporary. You can expect to rego your hair in three to 10 months after treatment, and though your hair may be different, it will still grow back. Chemotherapy and hair loss, what should you expect? Usually, hair loss begins falling out one to three weeks after you start treatment. It could fall out very quickly, in clumps, or gradually. You'll likely notice accumulations of loose hair on your pillow, in your hairbrush or comb, or in your sink or shower drain. Your scalp may feel tender. Your hair loss will continue throughout your treatments up to a few weeks afterward. Whether your hair thins or you become completely bald will depend upon your treatment. It may take several weeks after treatment for your hair to recover and begin to grow again. When your hair starts to grow back, it will probably be slightly different from the hair you lost, but the difference is usually temporary. Your new hair might have a different texture or color, it might be curlier than it was before, or it could be gray until the cells that control the pigment in your hair begin to function again. Chemotherapy and hair loss. Can hair loss be prevented? Well, we have experimented with something called the cold cap. This is something we keep in the freezer and we take it out and put it on someone's head prior to receiving their chemotherapy. The side effects are sometimes headache or feeling cold all over. It actually works for most people and can prevent some or all of the hair loss for most of the chemotherapies that we give. Unfortunately, we've noticed that some people will have cancer develop in the scalp that was treated because the scalp was deprived of the chemotherapy that is now vulnerable to being a site of metastasis from the cancer. We don't usually recommend this. There is, however, a treatment that may help you recover your hair after chemotherapy. This is the male pattern baldness medicine called Rogaine or Minoxidil. This is available over the counter at your drugstore. This is safe, is applied to the scalp, and will help speed the recovery of your hair growth. There are also grow lights, infrared lights, that can be purchased on the internet or from other sources that can help you grow your hair back. There's also special hair treatments that help preserve the hair that you have. We recommend that you avoid permanence and hair coloring initially unless you plan to shave your head and start over again. In any case, the most important part of hair loss is preparing yourself mentally and psychologically for hair loss, knowing that the important parts of your life are things that people cannot see on the outside of you, and know that this experience you're having with chemotherapy and the hair loss is only symbolic that the person inside is healthy and growing stronger every day.